Creating Community Remotely, Establishing Presence in a Virtual Classroom, adapted from Creating Community Remotely by Jen Ward and Kazette Lemlin. Getting students to have engaging and meaningful conversations in your classroom can be a challenge at the best of times. With remote teaching, building community amongst your students can seem even more daunting. The following video will give you some ideas on how to facilitate a sense of togetherness so that your students can interact with their instructor, their peers, and their coursework in a meaningful way. To start, here are four ways to help students interact with you, their instructor. Establish an instructor presence. It is important for instructors to consider their virtual presence in the course. If the instructor is not present, then the student feels that they do not have to be present in the course either. As instructors don't meet their students face-to-face -face in an online course, instructors must make efforts to communicate their enthusiasm for the subject, their credibility, their interest in their students' learning, and demonstrate warmth or concern for their well-being. Personalize the course by showing your personality. Show off your pets or plants or talk about the funky painting hanging behind your head. Or consider taking the time to tell a personal story. You don't have to share your whole life story or overshare. Simply show your students that you are indeed a human being. While personalizing your space, be cautious of adding too many distractions, such as a Zoom background, which is busy or is a moving image, or having clutter behind you. Have a guest speaker. To facilitate interactions with the guest speaker and your class, you can have students prepare questions prior to the class, which then get answered by the guest speaker. Or instead, have the guest speaker record a video for your class and have students pose questions in response to that lecture. Best of all, you can work with the guest speaker, which gives your students a chance to see dialogue and academic discussion. Start off the class with a question of a day or a check-in. Research has consistently shown that frequent and meaningful faculty-to-student interactions improve students' persistence, satisfaction, and achievement in online courses. To encourage these interactions, do a quick social check-in at the beginning of class. Instead of leaving an awkward silence while students are arriving, use the opportunity to chat. Ask students what's new and interesting in their lives, and what their holiday plans are. Just as in a physical classroom, some chit-chat helps break down social barriers while creating the expectation of interaction. You might consider preloading a slide that features a current event, cartoon, or trivia question to spark conversation in the minutes before class beginning. You could have a question of the day for your students. A one-word response question is best for bigger classes, such as, what is a food you dislike? You could use a poll to get students' response to a fun question, and you can also then share the results of that poll. Another option for larger classes is to have students share a picture or a meme of how they feel on a shared Google document. For smaller groups, you can ask a question like, uh, what resonated with you in the course readings from this week? Or, what's a previous course that you've taken that you've really enjoyed? Ask open-ended questions during class discussion to get diverse responses from students. In the medical field, Gartmeier and colleagues found that students are more likely to respond when asked an open-ended question. If you ask a yes or no question, discussion is not likely to flourish. Instead of asking, did you find the reading helpful, try, share one thought about something you'd like to critique or bring up with the author of the article. To generate questions, encourage students to create their own questions to pose to their classmates. This could be created in a Google document and then shared with students. Student groups can then choose from those questions to answer. Let's discuss some tactics you can use to help your students interact with one another while learning remotely. Maintaining professionalism. It's worth spending time going over the expectations you have when you are working synchronously with students. While you may have gone over these expectations in the first week of class and ensure they are in the course syllabus, it is worth reminding students of them again a couple weeks into the term. Being proactive about reminding students of the rules and expectations is more effective than having to be reactive. Student-made videos. In order to foster a sense of community, students could start the term by posting a short introduction about themselves, either as a video or simply as an audio file. Alternatively, they could create a short 15-second video about their hobbies using a program such as Biteable. Creating audio and or video files is a nice alternative to writing text, particularly if students are posing questions or responding to others. This is particularly effective in small classes. Small group activities. 
Use breakout rooms on Zoom to encourage conversation, but be sure to give your students clear expectations while they're in these smaller groups. Giving groups a specific task while they're in the breakout room will keep them on track, such as completing a chart or reviewing a case study. Ensure students have a link to a Google document which contains the instructions so that they can refer to the task while they're in the breakout room. By using a Google document, you can see your students working together in real time and see who contributed what. CTL recommends you have a minimum of three students in a room. The reason you should avoid pairs is that one student may have connectivity issues, which would then leave another student in a room on their own. When you come back together as a whole group, have each room use a spokesperson for their group to relay the smaller group's learning to the whole class. Use a form. Encourage students to respond to each other's posts to stimulate a dialogue. Be present in the forum as an instructor and ensure that you read the forum responses and respond to the student responses. However, you can also create a response to the whole class by sharing highlights from their forum posts. This allows you to model for your students how you would like them to engage with each other's ideas. You don't have to be in the forum 24-7 and you don't have to respond to every response right away. Give students time to respond first and jump in when appropriate or necessary to further the discussion or clarify a point. What's important is to ensure students are aware that you are actively monitoring their discussions. Students need very clear guidelines on what amount of forum participation is expected, so ensure these expectations are clearly stated at the beginning of a task. Let's cover some strategies you can utilize to enrich the way your students interact with the coursework you post on eClass. The strategies we will discuss are all steps which will help you add narrative to online documents. By adding narrative to the coursework you post on eClass, you'll be able to keep your students engaged in their learning. Adding narrative means your students should be able to clearly connect the work they do to the desired learning outcomes. Likewise, the assignments you post should have a purposeful and sequential flow between them. Provide a rationale for why you are asking students to read or watch the resources you've curated. You may need to add directions about the order in which students should engage with the resources and activities you've assigned, as well as providing clear expectations about what they are to actually do with these resources and activities. Students may find it helps with time management if timings are put on each task. Consider creating a 30 second intro video for each section or week of your e-class course. You can provide a quick overview of what they will learn in each segment. This makes the course feel more personalized. By adding narrative to your coursework, you can give students a sense of pacing by making the coursework seem more like a planned out journey rather than just a shopping list of things to learn. Thanks for watching this video. By making these efforts as you teach remotely, you'll be able to enrich in your students' experience with you as their instructor, their peers, and their coursework. We trust that you found some ways to facilitate a sense of community and camaraderie amongst your students despite their physical distance.